Hi guys, welcome here to this leak. Now, this is not going to be one of our formal videos or more formal videos. Nothing that we do is really formal. Uh, I just wanted to quickly have a chat with you guys about something we've picked up now that could potentially be quite dangerous uh, for a lot of people home distilling and playing around at home. Now, as we've discussed now in quite a few videos and as you've seen on social media, a lot of South Africans have started home distilling during lockdown and that's specifically because alcohol wasn't available, the liquor stores were closed and so forth, and a lot of people started home distilling, which is fantastic. I mean, we love it. It's, it's great uh, that people are reclaiming their culture and they busy distilling and getting back to the traditions of home distilling and so forth. But uh, what's happening, unfortunately, is that a lot of people are doing this on a minimal budget. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. So don't get me wrong. Um, we have to make a plan. And if you can save a couple of cents here and there, that's great. And there's nothing wrong with taking shortcuts and buying whatever's available easily in order to pursue your hobby. But you need to make informed decisions. When you buy certain equipment, when you buy certain pieces that you're going to be using for, in this specific case, when I'm talking about alcohol storage, for instance, you need to know what you are buying and that what you are buying is actually safe to use. Now, what am I talking about? A couple of days ago, we did a post on social media about seals, that there's been seals that's been sold uh, recently claiming to be alcohol uh, resistant, but which are actually not alcohol resistant. And I posted some pictures on our social media pa pages and on some groups as well, just to inform people how to test by placing it in alcohol and then see if there's a color change, if there's a flavor transfer, then you know this, is, this seal is not suitable to be used inside stills. But this raised another question um, in terms of alcohol containers, storage containers. What is allowed to be used and what is not allowed to be used? Well, not allowed, but um, safe. What is safe to use to store your alcohol in? Because a lot of people have been buying jam jars and glass containers of all sorts, um, just assuming it's safe to use because it's glass. So why can't we use it? But what they don't take into account is what the seal at the top is made from. Now, you might think, but how is that in any way relevant? Because if I'm going to pour alcohol into this jam jar or this glass container, that alcohol is not going to touch the seal, right? That's what you might think. Let me show you what happened. Just a bit of background. I took a container that's commonly being used at the moment. It's a basically a flip top, kind of like the Grolsch bottle style um, that locks in place. A lot of people have been buying this from craft shops and from um, home supply stores and so on. And they've been using this to do infusions and to store their alcohol. Now, the problem with this container is that the seal on the inside of the lid is not alcohol resistant. Now, again, you might say, but my alcohol is not going to touch that. I'm just storing it and sealing it. How could that be a problem? It becomes a problem when the alcohol starts to evaporate, especially if your alcohol is at a higher percentage. And you see this often with guys doing wood chip infusions or putting their alcohol on wooden blocks. They put it inside at a higher percentage alcohol, which is the right way to do it because you get a faster um, wooding of the product. More flavor, more color gets absorbed faster. So normally 60, 70, 80 percent, that's fine. The problem comes in, especially now here in South Africa, going into the summer months and the ambient temperature getting higher, is that this alcohol gets hot and it evaporates. It stays inside the jar, but it doesn't, uh, it can't escape. But it turns into gas, it evaporates, it fills the entire jar. And now in the evenings when it gets cold, it condenses again. And as that happens, this alcohol vapors and this droplets start reacting with the seal. You might have seen this already, little droplets forming on the top of your jars and so forth. That is this process of evaporation condensation happening inside your jar. Now, when it reacts with that seal, what happens? I took one of those jars with 90% alcohol in it. I left it overnight. I'm talking 24 hours. And this was the end result. That is pure, normal, 90% vodka, neutral spirits, for lack of a better word. I haven't added anything to it. I haven't touched it. I haven't colored it. There's nothing else in there. And you might think, oh, that's a nice color. All of that is chemicals leaching from this seal up here at the top. Now, if I open it, and I hope that you can actually see it, you would see that there's a discoloration that's formed here on the seal. And you can actually see this liquid coming down the inside. It's actually discoloring my fingertips. 
My skin is actually yellow now and it's actually quite difficult to get off. That's how ugly these chemicals actually are. So you might think this is a very nice color and you might assume it's coming from your wood chips. Meantime, it's being extracted from the seal. And if we take the seal off, you can actually see what's happening on the inside. I mean, this was never, I didn't shake this jug. It wasn't kept upside down. It was literally interacting just through evaporation condensation. The seal was this color. You can see how it's discolored due to the chemical reactions taking place. And you can see this is almost like a, like a syrup. It's awful. And I can't get it off my skin. Now, if you are using the wrong type of jars in order to do your infusions and in order to store your product, it can happen that you can consume some of these chemicals and it could be very detrimental to your health. So please, when you're using storage containers, when you're using jars, either for alcohol storage or for infusions, please make sure that the seals on the bottle and that the entire container is safe to use. Hope you find this helpful. Keep on distilling, enjoy what you're making, but be safe.